welcome to a sweltering Red Bull ring for the fourth event of the 2015 International GT Open. As the teams arrive, we have got four combinations within just 11 points of each other in the championship. We should be in for a fantastic weekend of racing. Let's see how the action unfolds. conditions greeted the drivers at the Red Bull Ring. It was the ART Lamborghini of Alvaro Barba that was challenging there of course Ferrari of Michele Rugolo as they headed in to the first turn. Starting from the back of the field after a technical infringement in qualifying was the Toyota Martin Motorsport Mercedes. So we were treated to some fine battling amongst the air of course Ferraris with the championship battle as close as could be imagined there was everything to race for. At all stages through the field, there's also a great scrap amongst the GTM runners, Thomas Fleur, Yamelnikov and Claudio Sedanvic. So looking to get into the mix was the Vlorba course Ferrari, Nicola Bonucci and Alessandro Balzan. Spectacular car, which can always be relied upon to show strongly. Balzan was at his very, very best scrapping with Rafael Maria. Post pit stops, Ruclo having done his job, handed over to passing the Thoras. And the Thoras was not in a mood to take any prisoners, easing past Anton Neblitsky. And so flying was Alvaro Prem and the Teo Martin Motorsport McLaren. So it was another victory for Michele Ruglo and passing the Thoras, and one that took them back to the summit of the championship. The delight of the AF Course team. Thumbs up all around in the Austrian sunshine. It's a beautifully mature drive from the Thoras, and one that was richly rewarded. So they celebrate on the top step of the podium, head of Barbara and the Blitzky, and then Bonucci and Balzan. I just had a really tough, really hot, warm in the car, super warm in the car. Uh, I had to push really hard because uh, Barba was uh, right behind me and the first, uh, I think, 10 laps, it was not giving up. Then at the end I was able to, to create a little bit of gap uh, and Passi has done a fantastic race. I think uh, amazing overtaking, car was fantastic. We solved some problem with the team, of course, uh, we did a great job. We had a few issues with the brakes. Now everything is fine and looks uh, like it was working pretty well. Yeah, as Michele said, that we, the team, have, thank you the team that we actually finally fixed the, the braking problems that we had since Paul Ricard. So I was able to do that move, um, overtaking him, but if it was the same car, we would still be stuck in second. But uh, it's very, very hot inside. And uh, but of course, it's very nice to win here for the first for my first time here. And um, yeah, thank you. On to race two and another sweltering day. And this time it's the Lorber Course Ferrari, which led away from pole position. But the GM rear Perez Compagnac car was in pursuit, as was the Toyota Martin Motorsport McLaren. The plan had been for the McLaren to be out front. Unfortunately, Alvaro Prim was caught in traffic early on, and that somewhat compromised his pace. Santon Teb Litsky just got a little bit too close to some of his Ferrari rivals. As ever, there was some great scrapping to be enjoyed throughout the field, not least with several drivers returning to the GT Open for this weekend, including reigning GTS champion Giorgio Roda, but also father and son pairing the Taukanitsas, who are in fine form, albeit somewhat squeezed by a rather assertive in defence Nablitsky. Disasters then at the pit stop, as the Lord of Course Ferrari failed to fire up. This, though, was the moment which decided the race. The undercut for Peren didn't quite work out. Kiel Perez Compact emerged clear of Miguel Ramos. Behind Alvaro Barb did all he could in the ART Lamborghini, unfortunately, overstepping the mark and being fired off into the gravel trap. Kenny Rugolo was another driver on the move, looking to cap an excellent weekend for himself and the Thoras, but at the flag it was another triumph, what's proving to be an excellent season for Rafael Gia Maria and Ezekiel Perez Compact. They took the win much to the delight of Gia Maria's third victory of the season. 
congratulations from the Argentinian and the Italian they were victorious at the Red Bull Ring to the delight of the AF Course team second place for Ramos and Print and third to Duncan Cameron and Matt Griffin Fantastic because uh, it's the third win uh, so we close the racing weekend, also this racing weekend with the maximum uh, wins. It uh, was uh, difficult yesterday because uh, we sacrificed the race one. Uh, we didn't put uh, the, the tires at the driver change to have uh, fresh tires for today. So we prefer to arrive before in order not to have handicap time for today. And the strategy was good, was perfect because uh, we did uh, good qualifying but uh, good start and then uh, as a was uh, fantastic. Today is uh, his birthday, so 21 years, 21. So great day for him, for me, and for all the team. He was tough, but uh, thanks to Rafa, we came out the pit, uh, the pit in front of the McLaren. That was crucial. Then I could look in front, push, push, and here we are, perfect. And uh, I would like to thank the team, everybody that helped us so much this weekend, and uh, some words to Rafa that had a heavy crash here in the test and has a strong heart because today he proved he's really quick and very tough. Congrats. Yeah.